Alrighty, folks, there's so much to talk about. First, I want to promote my other video, my collaboration channel, the D&D Network, with my roommate Jordan. I'll put a link right here for our newest video. Um, it's a parody to Rihanna's Russian Roulette. I think it's hilarious. Make sure you check it out. And there's also a blooper reel, too. So if you want more of us, there's even more. And subscribe to that channel if you like it, because I put a little bit, I guess, more effort into the videos, because they take a little longer. Um, we only have, like, four or five, but it's, it's a great channel. Moving on. I want to talk today about racism. Racism. And I want to start with black. Um, when African Americans first came to America, obviously, we, we did not treat them well at all. Um, not at all like humans, and we made them means to our end, which is philosophically just so wrong to do. However, once they became citizens and uh, were acting members of society, which took a long time, African American became the descriptive term to describe their skin color. I mean, honestly, I don't know many people that would call someone an African American and imply that they are from Africa. Most of the time, you're saying African American just to point out the fact that their skin color is darker. So, it's funny how over the next couple hundred years, I think hundred years, my history is really, really bad. But I think that black became a more acceptable term and was no longer that controversial. Because I definitely feel when black first hit the scene, it was a hate term. Um, for whatever reason, that just, it was used like that. And I think any term can be used as hate if enough people put power behind it. And so, when a black started to become a little less controversial and now it's in our society, I think that that's not a bad thing to say. Now, I don't know why you need to describe someone's um, race or skin color, because usually that doesn't matter. Uh, I really do believe that you can't judge a book by its cover. Uh, regardless of any descriptors you can put on the outside, what does that have to do with them on the inside? I mean, I know that's kind of cliche, but it's true. If I'm wrong, let me know. If I'm being racist by just saying black, maybe I just have my head on backwards. But moving from that, I want to talk about the term gay. Now, gay describes, in our culture right now, homosexuals. Homosexual isn't really used much, unless it's in, like, a psychological, like, teaching video where they're talking about orientation. Most people don't say homosexual. It's a long term, it doesn't roll off the tongue easy. Gay and lesbian just fits. Now, gay is just a descriptor, just like black or um, Hispanic or uh, female, I guess. Um, although I guess female isn't as bad, but depending on the context, why do you need to know that this person is a female. And it's just a way of describing someone. So words themselves, I don't find that hurtful. Sticks and stones, it's true. It upholds. They're just sounds. It's just a tongue moving around with air. Like, I don't know. I wish people had this philosophy because then nobody would get offended. It would be great. We'd be in a great place. But people do get offended. And terms like gay, when they're used in even nowadays language, as an insult or a substitution for stupid or dumb, it gives this negative connotation to the word. And I know there are still some people that use black negatively, but I don't feel like it's a majority anymore. I really just think that black is the same as African American, it's just shorter. Just, when, when you're talking to anyone and you're using descriptors, think about it. Think about what you're describing. Is that necessary? Why am I describing this? Is it because I'm noticing this difference, which isn't bad, to notice someone's black isn't racist. It's just our brain analyzing information that's coming into it. But if you're saying, yeah, I met this guy uh, at the bar. Wow, I went to dating real fast. I met this guy in class and we're gonna go over notes. I mean, that's fine. I don't know why you would need black. I don't know why you would need to say, I met this black guy in class, we're gonna um, go do notes, because it gives that adjective to person that separates it from just a regular person. What makes this person different because they're black? <clears throat> Same thing with gay. If you, I met this gay guy, uh, instantly whoever you're talking to and whatever you're saying is gonna have underlying messages. Like, God forbid, the N-word or the F-word, both are and not buck with an F, but those two words are very offensive to people. Um, and I understand why. However, their strength comes from people using them negatively and from people using them playfully. I don't think that black people should use the N-word to describe their friends. 
if it becomes an offensive term if anyone else uses it. Same thing for gays. I don't think we should be using the F word or even queer for our friends because it makes it look like it's okay to say. And unless you're completely fine with people calling you that that aren't your friends, don't say it. So yeah, that's basically all I had to say. It was kind of a rant about that. But me and Jordan were talking about um, race and orientation the other day. And it just it got me thinking about this, how it's, it's funny. Um, I've never felt like a minority before, and nor do I now. I don't feel like a minority. I mean, I'm a middle-class white guy. There's my descriptor. Um, and I've had a comfortable life. I, um, I, I would say I'm blessed. I'm, I mean, I guess I could be well, more well-off, but that's selfish. I could be a lot worse off, so... I don't feel like I'm singled out because of my orientation. I'm not a dancer because I'm gay. I'm a dancer and I'm gay. Um, I'm not a piano player because I'm gay. I'm a piano player and I'm gay. And I think people like to link these together and they really shouldn't. That's my two cents on uh, the gay, black debate and all that jazz. If you have any other ideas, throw them at me. I love to talk about things. I love to discuss. I love to uh, learn other points of view. Um, it's why I'm in my uh, Asian philosophy class right now. I love it. Oh my god, we're getting into Chinese ancient culture and I think it's incredibly interesting. It's, it's ridiculous how interesting it is. So, yes. Uh, leave me a comment about it. Um, what do you think? What do your viewpoints are? Do you think I'm just a racist asshole? Do you agree? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm a queer? I'm sure I'm gonna get one of those. Uh, so yeah, just comment on it, rate it, even if you don't like it, give it one star. I don't care, rate it. If you like it, give it five. Somewhere in the middle, cool beans. Always subscribe. I try to put out a video at least once a week or so, and I will give you guys heads up when my uh, collaboration channel does a little bit more um, thought out projects. Uh, and also go over there, subscribe. We make a lot of funny videos. Jordan's hilarious. I like working with him. So that's it. Have a great Thursday. And I will see you guys sometime next week. Maybe even this weekend. I don't know. We'll see how productive I feel. Have a good one, guys. Bye.